Hey guys, Technomentary today here with a simple video for you guys on how to remove the SIM card tray of your iPhone SE 2020 edition or the iPhone SE second generation and how to put your SIM card in. So for this tutorial, we're gonna show you guys a couple of methods if you guys don't have what's known as the SIM ejector tool. We're gonna use two other tools here to show you guys how that's done. So go ahead and take the box off here and then once you have that off you don't want to turn it on so i already have my iphone sc here turned on or you can even do this method turned off sometimes you do have to restart the phone when you're putting a new sim card in so i have the phone here so i'm going to put the phone down and then go in take out this instruction manual a lot of people throw this away but this is actually there's an important piece in here that you want to remove which is the sim ejector tool what's known as this is the official tool to actually remove the sim card tray and put your sim card in so we're going to put that to side and then take our phone here and then you're going to notice the sim tray is actually on the side here a lot of people assume that this is the reset button but it's actually not the reset button it's the sim tray which a lot of times if you guys are buying the phone from a carrier they already have it in there for you guys ready to go and if you guys are buying it directly from apple's website as unlock phone or if you're buying even a pre-owned phone you're gonna have to do this on your own simply take the same ejector tool firmly insert it into the hole and then push down till it pops out and it'll pop out about this much and you'll notice you're gonna gently pull it out you'll notice there's a band here right about as you can see closely, I'll show you guys, this is the water seal band as you see right here. So we're gonna wanna take that and then you'll notice there's a cut piece right here. So when you have your nano SIM card, this is the, you want a nano SIM size SIM card. You wanna line this cut piece that I showed you guys with this one. That cut piece fits in perfectly right there. And then you are gonna go ahead and do reverse direction, put that in back where you got it from. You'll wanna align up the holes here and then simply press it in till it's completely flush. Be careful about the water seal that's around it. You don't want that to be poking out. And then you'll start to notice this pop-up message that says, do you wanna update your carrier setting? And you're gonna to wanna to hit that update button. And as you can see, I have a Cricut SIM inserted here and Cricut, is here up here it came up that means it is able to get service now you have service to make calls and texts and browse the internet or use the phone however you like it the thing you'll want to note is the compatibility of your sim card which is simply always look to buy unlock phones that you'll be able to use it on multiple carriers if you're trying to put a sim card in and the carrier is for example it's, if it's an at&t phone and you try to put a T-Mobile SIM card in, it's going to give you this weird message saying it's not compatible and you won't be able to get service because between the different, different, different carriers, if they're not on lock phone, they won't accept a SIM card from another carrier. So always try to buy a lock phone and that way you don't have to buy a new phone whenever you go out and, you know, look to switch carriers. Two other methods that you can actually apply to take the SIM card in is if you're buying a used phone or a pre-owned device, you won't have this or most likely if you threw this away, you can simply take what's known as a paper clip, right? Very simple. Most people have this. If you don't have one, you can probably go to a dollar store and get a pack. Simply twist this piece right here and now it becomes almost a SIM ejector tool. And then you're going to want to do the same thing here. Simply press it down. It's nice and soft and gently firm as well till it pops out. There you go. It pops out. No problem here as you saw right here. We're going to, and another tool you can also do it with is uh, simply if you have a earring, right? If you can p find a earring that's like similar to a paper clip or a seam ejector tool, right? Nice and firm. Make sure that it's, you know, something that you don't mind if it breaks because this is sometimes hard when you press it down. You don't want to break your precious earring. So take that, insert it in, and same thing, it pops again. So those are two other methods. There's other methods uh, as well out there to pop out the same ejector tool. So hopefully this video was helpful. If this video help was helpful in any way for you guys, hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel because we do a lot of tech reviews and giveaways 
And we really appreciate it if you guys can share this video so that others can also find it helpful for them. So thanks for watching, guys.